Okay, hey guys. This is the second time of me filming this because evidently I accidentally deleted the video the first time. Oops. <laughs> As you can see here by the sheet, we're gonna do a pen comparison. Now, when I was in California last, my daughter and I um, managed to um, talk her father into taking us to Daiso. Granted, we only had like 30 minutes before we had to be back to the airport, but um, we did it. <laughs> um, and she's the one who spotted these markers. Um, these um, look remarkably like a favorite marker of hers and mine, which is by Stabilo. It's the Stabilo 68. Now, they make this 68, which is a bullet tip whoop, marker, more of a bullet tip. They also have a Stabilo 88, which is a fine tip, uh, which I also like. Um, I find myself grabbing the 68 more than the um, 88. Um, so these are remarkably like, let's grab the brown and the brown, um, the 68. Um, almost a nearly identical body length of the pen. Um, the barrel of the pen looks re remarkably identical, uh, as does the tip. It's slightly shorter, and the caps are different. Oops. So the Stabilo cap is a straight cap and the Daiso one flares out. The other glaring difference, these 12 markers were $1.50. These over here, if I'm not mistaken, are a set of 30. Yeah, tw this is 29, but I think I have two blacks. Uh, or some, I'm missing another color that I didn't grab. Anyway, I'm pretty sure they were a set of 30 uh, for $25 and change on Amazon. Um, so the biggest price is the difference, uh, biggest difference is the price, um, but also um, there's some differences in the colors and I'm going to show you what I mean right now. So this is the red barreled pen from Daiso. This is the red barreled pen from Stabilo. They look the same. They're not. This one is not red. <laughs> oh, it's not red. <laughs> it's pink. So a couple of the colors you will find, and this one's red, red. This is what you would expect from the other pen. Um, so a couple of the colors are definitely like that. There was also, I think, a green that was more, I think it might have been this one, that was more like a highlighter. Yeah. Than a, than a green green. Um, so that was this one. And if you grab the comparable pen over here from Stabilo, because you expect the color body of the pen to be an indication of the color of the ink, but it isn't necessarily. So those that's a lot a big difference. Now for a dollar fifty, does that bother me? Not necessarily too much. So we have purple and purple. So they're just, I th maybe it's because in part because I'm used to the Stabilo markers, but the Daiso ones when you go to use them are not quite what you expect when you take the, um, cap off and you start using it. This one, for instance, really um, is actually in my flesh tone drawer of my, I have my drawer pens and pencils sorted by color um, because I'll show you in a minute. Um, this is the flesh tone Stabilo. They're nearly identical, although the body of the pen is a very different color. Um, these two I put together, and I don't do flesh tones a lot anyway, but that's where those two go. Um, so other than a little bit of differences in colors, which again, you can see here on the chart where I swatch all the colors, most of them are pretty close. Um, most of them are not too different. Uh, there's a couple of them that are glaringly different. Are they enough to not buy them? No. These are only $1.50. 
That's so cheap. Um, and I know you're all going to say, well, I don't have Daiso near me. Daiso does have an online store. Now, you may have to buy a whole bunch of them to get it at the online store. Um, or you may be traveling somewhere and be able to get them at a Daiso if it's one, there's one near you. But what, even if you can't go to Daiso, that's not the point. The point is I want you to all look around you, go to Dollar Tree, go to Dollar General, even Walmart. And just because you can't afford these fancy set of Sibilos doesn't mean you can't make nice art. It, these aren't what's important. It's having fun and playing and creating art. And you can do that with a lesser expensive kind of marker. You don't have to have the name brand. So I want you all to look around. These are really good markers. I am pretty pleased with them. They're a little, the Stabilo are a little bit more juicy, but not too much. They're both water soluble. You see up here, they both, in fact, I think the Daiso actually were spreading a little bit better than the Stabilo markers. Um, but I would have an equal amount of fun playing with either one and have had since I bought them. So if you have a Daiso near you, go there and check them out. If you don't have one, but maybe you're traveling somewhere that does, make a few minutes, go there, 30 minutes even. If you only have 30 minutes, you don't know what you're gonna find. Um, check out the online store. I will link it below. And if they have these markers in the online store, I will leave a link for you. I will, of course, also leave the link for the Stabilo markers. Um, and if they have, sometimes Daiso products are on Amazon. So if they have these on Amazon, I'll, I'll link, leave that link too. Check it out, see what you think. And even if you don't have that store, maybe you have another store and you found a really good budget-friendly art tool that compares really well to something that's the more quote-unquote popular brand, I want to hear about it. Leave something in the comments below, or if you're a member of one of my Facebook groups, go post something there about it, because we would all love to save a buck, especially with art supplies. And, you know, a lot of us don't have the budget to go out and spend a ton of money on art supplies, uh, nor should we be doing that. So I want you to um, share your information. Let's share the wealth so to speak. And um, yeah, if you um, find a great supply, go out and pick it up and give it a try. I mean, for $1.50, there was no way I couldn't, pa I could pa justify passing up and not picking these up to bring them home and give them a shot. And my daughter is a huge fan of these, by the way. She loves these. Uh, she uses them all the time. Um, she frequently doodles while she's on conference calls with work in the margin of her notes. And she uses these. <laughs> so anyway, that's it for today. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave it in the description below. Uh, if you would like to, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want to follow me on social media or DM me about a product that you found that you really like and you maybe even want me to check it out, um, you can follow me on a number of social media sites to do that. Um, click on the link tree list of links in the description below and you'll find all my social media, the places you can support the free con here, content here on YouTube and over on Facebook. Um, I think in the description is also other ways to contact me along with my happy mail address. So go check it out. Uh, and um, yeah, let's share um, information on afford budget-friendly art supplies. Um, I do tend to stay away from Crayola. Um, I'm not super concerned about things being archival, um, but Crayola, I know from drawings my daughter did when she was little tends to all the colors tend to turn a shade of green at some point even if they're not exposed to the sun so that's a little bit of an issue most of us do art journaling so it's not that huge of a deal but you know a little tidbit of information uh anyway that's it for today go out and have a great day make some art have some fun and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and i'll see you later bye guys